Is this balanced correctly? Everybody. It looks okay. I think it's okay. So now we just have a stoichiometry problem. It kind of goes under the concentrations because we're using molarities. So you got to take this and change it to moles first. Okay. So 25.1 milliliters. Let's change this to liters right off. So it's 1,000 milliliters per liter. And then the 0 0.167, that's moles per liter. Now all the liters are gone, all the milliliters are gone, just moles of that thing. Okay. Now that's not what we care about. So we're here, we want to go to what we want, which is the sodium sulfide. So in this case, uh, we've got one mole, oh no, two moles in the number, uh, denominator of the silver one nitrate for every one mole of the sodium sulfate. Is that okay now? Yeah. And then uh, it should just be one last conversion, whatever the molar mass is of sodium sulfate. Okay. What did you do differently? I think I was having issues with the beginning part with the molarity and um, uh, getting that in the mole, so. Okay, yeah, the so way you did it makes sense though. So. Good, this is the standard way to start if okay. you're given volume and molarity. Just go straight to moles, it's kind of like a conversion, okay. and just knock out the volume. Okay, so is it best if you're given milliliters to always go to liters first in the beginning? I would. Okay. There are some problems you don't totally have to do that, but I've seen both kinds of problems, and so in order not to introduce confusion, mm -hmm. I would always go to liters okay. from milliliters when molarity is involved in a stoichiometry problem. Okay.